Ugandan president welcomes Ethiopian premier to the state house. File photo, June 10, 2018, Naimile Pedia, the new prime minister of Ethiopia, Abiy Ahmed, and Ugandan president, Yoweri Museveni, met in Ugandan after a two-day state visit by the Ethiopian premier from 8 to 9 June 2018. The two leaders discussed the situation in the neighboring South Sudan among other regional issues. In a communique issued from Kampala on Saturday, the two leaders discussed South Sudan conflict and called on the parties to renounce violence and the rebellion and redouble the force to find a peaceful settlement to the conflict in the country. Their excellencies discussed the situation in South Sudan called upon all parties to the conflict to renounce violence and armed rebellion, and redouble efforts to find a peaceful political solution through dialogue under the IGAD-led high-level revitalization forum. Two leaders agreed on the need to convene an extraordinary IGAD summit to address outstanding issues, Article 7 of the Communique Day 9 June 2018 said. South Sudan descended into civil war in December 2013 after forces loyal to the country's president, Salva Kiir, married and his then-governor of northern Bar al-Ghazal state Gen. Paul Malonga even went door-to-door -door in the capital Juba killing civilians belonging to the NUER ethnic group sparking a nationwide protest from top army generals from the NUER leading to a civil war. A peace agreement signed in August 2015 by President Kiir and rebel leader Rik Machurin negotiated under the auspices of the Intergovernmental Authority on Development IGAD, and the African Union o, in presence of Troika and other international observers collapsed in July 2016 following fighting at the Presidential Palace in Juba, J1, reportedly after President Kiir ordered a failed attempt to arrest the SPLMIO leader Rik Machur. A peace revitalization plan collapsed last month after the IGAD unveil a peace proposal that seek to divide power between dozen South Sudan opposition group and the government with three vice presidents.